Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my January TBR game. This is Roll the Dice with a Dash of Chaos. I combined two TBR games from others that I really enjoyed and they are linked in the description box of course. We have Roll the Dice from Jessie May. She had a list as I do, Roll the Dice, whatever book it landed on is the one she was reading. But I love the Chaos from Sam. A Life of Lit and her calendar TBR game and I love prompt based games so I wanted to incorporate um, something similar to that as well. So this is not an original TBR game um, so I'm definitely giving credit where credit is due. I played this two other months, November and December, just to try it out, tweak things, um, see how I'm liking it. I am starting fresh in January. I did not do well those other months. So this is my TBR board. Just a quick look because we will set it up together, which I just did like 10 minutes ago, but I didn't get to film the sit down portion first. I roll the dice. I either pull the prompt that's on there. So for example, number four is an easy prompt. So I have my bins here. I have a challenge bin, an easy bin, and this bin has hard prompts in it and I choose a book based on the prompt or they might have a physical book or a Kindle Unlimited book on there and then I'd read that book. If I get a double I must pull a challenge prompt and I roll six times per month. If I do not finish my TBR from the previous month I need to start off the game with a punishment but I decided not to do that in January and just start fresh and really try and focus on my TBR better this year. An added element for 2023 is I have made a TBR jar. So the yellow papers in here are from my These Books Will Self-Destruct in 12 Months. I will link that video up in the cards. And then the pink ones are um, from the 23 books I want to read in 2023, which you guys will be seeing that video next week, I believe. Um, I just have my videos kind of all out of order right now, but I have all of those in here. I'm going to draw two of these at the beginning of each game and hopefully by the end of the year. I mean, that doesn't quite add up, but you will see with my choices for some of these polls, I've also incorporated some books that are on papers in here. So my thought process was hopefully we'll read most of these by the end of the year. Very quickly, I want to go over the books I was supposed to read last month. Again, I did not do very well. So first I had a prompt that was a random letter, so author or title. I got an E. I was supposed to read The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern and I did not do that. Next I had a female author and a library book. I picked In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I did read that. Hooked by Emily McIntyre. I did not read this. A standalone plus a TBR vet plus a book that appears in a recommendation video. I chose House in the Cerulean Sea and I did not read that. For a booktuber fave I chose one of Raven Haired Reader's favorites, Daughter of No Worlds by Carissa Broadbent and I did read that. And for the sixth roll I had to unhaul a book which I did and a book that is a part of a book club. I chose Crescent City but this is actually the wrong book. <laughs> But either way, I did not read this either. So I only read two of the books on my actual December TBR, but I actually read seven books so far. And I'm also filming this a little bit early. Um, so I'll probably read eight or nine books in the month of December. I was just really bad about picking the ones on my TBR as I was in November as well. So hopefully in 2023 we can do better with that. Now there are a ton of read-alongs starting because it's the start of a new year and there's so many book clubs I wish I could participate in um, and I don't know which ones I'll be able to do. I did get my buddy reads with my friend Sam um, on here which is great but other than that <laughs> Um, yeah, let's hop into setting up the board and rolling the dice and I'll meet you right back here. All right, guys, it's time to set up our TBR game. We also have Domino over here helping us. He's having a little cat nap on the bed. 
Uh, sorry for the weird angle. I can't quite get my camera to be more like overhead without tipping over. Um, first, we're going to just figure out how many easy and hard prompts we need to do. Then a new element I would have introduced in the intro is we're going to pull two from this TBR jar and then fill in the rest with a mix of physical TBR and KU books. So I don't know what happened to my other dice. So now I have mismatched ones, but we're going to roll just one. And if it is an even number, we're going to have two spots. If it's an odd number, we're going to have three spots. And this is going to be for easy. Fantastic. So random number generator. I didn't like the having two different ones on each space. So I'm not going to do that this time and see how that works. We have four, seven, and six. And my rating is going to be even messier than usual because of my bandaged finger. So please excuse that. Now, how many hard prompts do we need? Oh gosh. Okay, so I don't want the same numbers. Two. Nine. Eleven. All right, now let's pick two from this TBR jar. The yellow ones are my books that will self-destruct and my pink ones are the 23 books I want to read in 2023. That video will not have gone up yet, but that should be next week. I'm going to close my eyes. You'll just have to believe me. I'll pick this one and this one. Okay, so one pink and one yellow. That is pretty good. So we have The Night Road by Kristen Hanna. And Legends and Lattes. That's actually on my Kindle. Um, and I forget about the books that I buy on my Kindle. So that is really good. I'm now going to fill in the spaces here. I'm going to include these two and we'll get rolling. All right, so I realized that Legends and Lattes doesn't really fit into either of these categories. So hopefully I can fit that in with a prompt. All right, let's do roll number one. Nine is a hard prompt. So that is this bin. I've added some prompts since the last time. And again, if you have any suggestions, you can definitely let me know. My most recent, this was intended to be my most recent purchase, but as Christmas just passed, should I get a Christmas book, a book I got for Christmas and put it on the list? I'll have to think on that. Roll number two. Nine again. A thriller. Roll number three. Eight, Night Road. That is perfect because I now need to read this this month anyways, so thank goodness it's on the TBR. Let me replace that with another physical book. Okay, I've replaced that with Clockwork Angel. Now roll number four. An easy prompt. A paperback. Roll number five. Six, an easy prompt.
POC, so that could be POC rep or author. And roll number six, our final roll. Eleven, a hard prompt. Twelve book challenge. So this is um, that Instagram challenge. I had a bunch of people give me recommendations and I need to choose one of those. Wow. So this is the first time the board has actually been nice to me. I'm so excited to go choose my books and I will chat with you in one second. All right. Hello. We have rolled our dice. I'm going to start off with the two TBR jar picks. The first is Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. I have this on my Kindle and I'm really bad at forgetting about the books that I buy on Kindle. I read my Kindle Unlimited books pretty frequently, but I actually bought Legends and Lattes and haven't read it. This is a cozy standalone fantasy um, about orcs who run a coffee shop and I believe it's sapphic as well. Um, I'm quite excited to get to that. I think it's going to be a great cozy read. I then got Night Road by Kristen Hanna. This is on my books will self-destruct because it's my stepmom's book and I should read it and return it to her. Uh, I haven't read any Kristen Hanna's. This wasn't really the one I wanted to start with but here we are. Um, this says, for 18 years, Jude Faraday has put her children's needs above her own, and it shows. Her twins, Mia and Zach, are happy and bright teenagers. When Lexi Bale moves into their small, close-knit community, no one is more welcoming than Jude. Lexi, a former foster child with a dark past, quickly becomes Mia's best friend. Then Zach falls in love with Lexi, and the three become inseparable. Um, I'm going to stop there, but I think this is going to be a very emotional read, and I've heard that this is one of Kristen Hanna's, like, more underrated books. Like, people that I've seen who have actually read this have given it really high ratings, but it's definitely not one of her popular books. Um, and this actually did get on the TBR. It was roll number three. I'm now going to go in the actual order. So, number, roll number one was my most recent purchase. And I don't even remember what my most recent purchase is uh, because I haven't bought books in a little while. But because it was just Christmas, I chose a book that I received for Christmas. And I am putting back on my TBR, Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. I am very intimidated by this and starting yet another Sarah J. Mass series. But I do really want to get to it. I just need some extra motivation. Me and my friend Sam are going to buddy read this. I think later in the month we're buddy reading something else um, starting soon. So I really need to get to this this month. I'm now noticing I have a little tear in my dust jacket which is so so sad. Um, this is an adult urban fantasy and that is literally all I know about it except that people are obsessed with this series and I hope I am too because I, I'm obsessed with Sarah J Maas's other two series. Roll number two is a thriller and I'm stretching this a little bit. I'm going to put in the Mindfuck series by S.T. Abbey. This is like a thrillery romance series and I've read the first three of five. I don't, I think it's like all the lies or something is what I'm on and I really want to finish some series if I'm going to be starting some series. So for the official TBR it will just be whichever one I'm up to. They're short novellas, thrillery, romance like I said. Um, we're following a female serial killer and her relationship with an FBI profiler who is actually trying to find her, but he doesn't know it's her, and it's a fun time. It's like Criminal Minds, and it's definitely ha has some like thrilling aspects to it. It's not as romancy as what I thought it would be, but I actually like that about it. So <laughs> this is a stretch, but I do want to finish that um, this month, so hopefully I can read both of the ones I have left, but that's what I'm putting in the spot. Yes, I'm cheating. <laughs> Roll number three, like I mentioned, is Night Road by Kristen Hanna. Roll number four is a paperback. And for that, I'm choosing The Girl in the Tower by Katherine Arden. This is the second book in the Winter Night 
trilogy. Yes, the first being The Bear and the Nightingale. I read that last year. Give it five stars. I loved it. It is a wintry, like more polar, Russian inspired adult fantasy. As beautiful, whimsical, lyrical writing. They're not that long, but they're also not like the quickest of reads either. And I'm excited to continue on with this and hopefully finish the trilogy this winter. I just think Vasya is such an interesting character and I'm excited to see where things go. Roll number five was POC and for that I'm putting in Twisted Love by Anna Huang. This is the first book in the Twisted series. Me and my friend Sam are going to start buddy reading this series. I think this is Brother's Best Friends... Best Friend? Romance? Is that right? I'm not sure. Um, this series has a lot of mixed reviews, especially Twisted Love. I feel like people either love it or hate it. So I'm curious to see where I fall. I don't know what makes people hate it so much, um, but I don't want to know. So I'm going in with a relatively open mind and that is what I'm choosing for POC. And last was my 12 book challenge. So I did post that on Instagram asking for recommendations from 12 different people, 12 different books to read through the year. I don't know how much I'm going to stick to that. I got a wide variety of recommendations, but one that stood out to me is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. No, I have not read this yet. It's a shame, honestly. And this is on my 23 books I want to read in 2023, so spoiler alert for that. Oh, and so is this. So I'm starting off the year strong with that list and have a couple books on here, which is right on schedule for what I need. This is historical fiction following Evelyn Hugo. She is like Marilyn Monroe-esque, very mysterious, and she's going to retell her life story and all of the loves of her life to this reporter. And I'm actually very excited to finally get to this. And I apologize this whole video that you have to look at this ugly band-aid, but I literally cut the top of my finger off cooking Christmas dinner. Not like, oh yeah, I cut my finger a little with a knife. No. No. And it hurts a lot, so I'm holding it like awkwardly. Anyways. So these are the books on my January TBR plus Twisted Love and whichever book I'm up to in the Mindfuck series. This is so doable for me. If I do not complete this, I am going to, oh, and Legends and Lattes. Um, it will be a serious problem if I cannot manage, um, what, six, seven books. Hold me accountable. I can do it. Let me know what you are reading in the month of January. Are there any read-alongs that you were hoping to get to? I didn't really talk about them, um, but I like reading the cover-to-cover -cover book club picks every once in a while. They're also doing The Vampire Academy, um, The Blade Itself for the Joe Abercrombie thing that Becca in the Books does with her catch-up book club, um, and there's a couple others, but... I typically can't keep up with read-alongs because I'm often too distracted. Um, the one that I am most wanting to do, I guess there's two of them. I want to try and do that Joe Abercrombie along, whatever she's called that. If I can, I need to get the book from the library and the Vampire Academy, I think would just be a fun YA vampire throwback time. Um, again, I'd have to get those books from the library. They're not on my official TBR, but I thought I would mention those as well. Whew. Thank you guys so much for watching my TBR game. I hope you liked it. I love to ramble and here I am still talking. Tell me what you're reading for the month of January in the comments down below, or if you have a fun TBR I can watch, then let me know that too. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.